Will Ferrell, everybody. Oh, man. Your, your next comment uh, is on the radio. Ham radio. He's a ham. You're a ham. Please, please welcome Matt Collins. <laughs> that motherfucker, that fucking nerd, <laughs> that fucking nerd bleeds Diet Mountain Dew. God, get, get yourself a warm bagel and fuck it like the rest of us. You deviant. Whoa, hey Coots, alright, let's do this thing. It was gonna be a big night, that's why I wore my favorite body spray. Lysol. <laughs> Line on up, ladies. I'm sterile. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, I used to be a cigarette smoker, and when my mother discovered that I uh, was smoking cigarettes, she was so uh, crestfallen that she started smoking cigarettes too, bringing our entire family up to everyone smoking cigarettes. And her logic was that she said, Matthew, a, uh, a family that smokes together croaks together. <laughs> Mom, that's a cult. <laughs> Is that why I was only brought up in uh, jumpsuits till I was 11? <laughs> Is that why the punch was always off limits at every family gathering? Is that why our family band is just three didgeridoos and a naked woman screaming? <laughs> family is a cult. Uh, you guys like music? Sure, we all do. <laughs> yeah, da 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 da. I like that jazz. No, I fucking don't. Here we go. <laughs> Tell you about the real shit. I'm 32 years old, and the last two pieces of music I purchased were from the bands Fart Barf and Diarrhea Planet. <laughs> So I have the soundtrack to the morning after you eat an entire Sicily's pizza at 3 a.m. <laughs> I'm into that obscure shit, man. I'm like, hey, you want to listen to some 45s of Lance Boyle Tupperware? <laughs> oh, man, you should listen to this cassette of uh, Pussy Exploder 72. <laughs> hey, you want to listen to Iggy Azalea? <laughs> <laughs> Got her. <laughs> Trying to be a better person. Saw this old lady needed her, like, needed help across the street. So I helped this old lady across the street. We get to the other side, and she says, "Hey, thank you so much for getting me away from those black people." I was like, "Holy shit, bitch! Did you just make me an accessory to racism?" I had no choice. I had to bug her. <laughs> Need to keep that shit even, man. I, uh, my phone is my alarm clock, which is a real bummer because I'm very attached to my phone because I imagine someone's going to call me one day. <laughs> and so now I'm so attached to like every time I hear the bling of the text message, I just wake right up. You know, it's like a thumb right up the asshole. It's bling! Oh, what? <laughs> oh, hey, hi, what, what's going on here? Oh, it's 9 a.m. and my friends have regular jobs and I don't. Things going, I'm employed, be awesome! <laughs> Fuck you, man. Sometimes I feel like there's a bling and I check my phone and there's nothing there. Like my brain is going, you know what, I think right about now you get a text message. Bling! No, I didn't. Ugh. You fucking loser. <laughs> You think that after, like, a person is in a relationship for a really long time, they just have arguments, even though they're alone? <laughs> God just standing in the supermarket going, God damn it, Stacy! I don't care about the sodium! I want this hamburger helper! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Because, um... You know, food's a big deal now, guys. I don't even like food, really. 
I just like being filled with things. <laughs> Please insert your own gay joke there. I'll let you work here. It's a choose your own adventure, right? Uh, but, like, my mom loves the Food Network. She watches it all the time. The only problem is there's no shows out there for guys like me. So, if you will indulge me, I would like to present to you my idea of a uh, Food Network TV show. So, uh... <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Cooking for One. <sighs> Congratulations, you've lived long enough to require sustenance. What you'll need to do is set the oven to the perfect head temperature of 350 degrees. The only ingredients you'll need are beans, chicken breasts, tortillas, and a sink to eat over. <laughs> and make sure you get a bucket for food storage, because we're cooking for the whole week here, people. And remember, the most important rule about cooking for one, chew thoroughly because there will be no one there to save you. <laughs> These are jokes! <laughs> These are jokes, don't worry. I will never be able to afford to live alone. <laughs> that is my idea of luxury, is to be able to destroy a bathroom with impunity. <laughs> Just won't even have to worry about it. The closest I can get to living alone is if the other guy in hospice care dies first. <laughs> Finally, it happened! <laughs> R.I.P. Matt Collins, he was 41. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm working out. I'm trying to get myself better, you know? That's why I, I, went, I started going to yoga, you know? Because I thought it was just gonna be me staring at sexy lady butts the entire time, when I find out that really the process of lying down and getting back up is super fucking hard. <laughs> Yoga is an extremely great motivator. You know, when, when you're terrible at something, and nothing motivates you more. Just every time I do yoga, it's like I'm losing my virginity for the first time. Again, and again, and again. The woman stops everything. She puts a hand on my shoulder and says, Sir, do you need to see a doctor? You are sweating profusely and you were bumming everyone out outside of the room. And you haven't paid for the whole session. <laughs> Trying to get better, man. That's why I uh, built a bookshelf from a book. <laughs> It's the pop-up Karma Sutra. It's just a rectangle with a hole in it. And he's It's a really short read, but if you've been drinking, it's real hard to finish. Hey! Motherfucking jokes, y'all! Let's hear it, Coots! Get over here! All right, still got it. Was born and raised here in Anchorage, Alaska, which is fantastic, right? You guys too? Anchorage, it's an awesome place, man. It's got big sky, you know? It has got tundra as far as the eye can see. Sometimes it is just so quiet that you are just one with the world and you are at peace, you know? Alaska truly is the most beautiful prison in the entire world. <laughs> We are surrounded by mountains and a big Lenny death hug, and we're the rabbits in this situation. Oh, did I offend you? Okay, Orbit drinks, I get it. All right, how about this for an example? Not only... What? What? What did I do? I'm just giving you an example here. Here we go. Sir, what's your name? Female. Well, no, I was pointing at the guy next to you. Oh, behind you. <laughs> Fuck, I fucked all this up. Shit, alright. Next reset, pause. Hey, you know what? Let's all just take like a quick prayer sesh right here. <laughs> let's just get down one knee and just be like, comedy gods, please, let's get through the set without any 
three of these uppity bitches get pissed off at me tonight. Please let me get through this set with someone swiping right on tender on my bitch ass. I did not buy kale for nothing. Thank you. Anchorage, Alaska. Not only do we have the last blockbuster in existence, we have the last three blockbusters in existence. And we still have room for a video city that sells pornography. Alaska, where you go to buy porno. And now we've legalized weed, so none of you motherfuckers are ever going to leave. Every asshole from the lower 48 with a man bun and a hang drum is going to come up here with a fucking weed ass Johnny Appleseed. I'm going to get a couple DUIs and be like, you're fucked now, buddy. No more driving through Canada for you. Oh, fuck yeah. Hey, here's a little thing for you girls. All right, this is from me to you. There's this thing out there called revenge porn. Uh, <laughs> 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 what revenge porn is, is after a relationship breaks up, uh, usually the guy will post, you know, nudes of his ex-girlfriend or their sex tapes online for guys like me to enjoy. So thank you, David. Appreciate that. <laughs> but you know what that is? You know what that is? That's like going, hey, Jennifer, you remember why? Oh, you're Jennifer? Yes, yes. Oh, is it your birthday? No, no. Then shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you, Jennifer. What's your last name? Okay. Oh, she left. <laughs> <laughs> I did a prayer session and everything! <laughs> oh, you didn't remember that part three minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> But you know what posting revenge porn is like? It's like going, Stephanie? <laughs> you remember why you broke up with me? You are 100% right. I am the biggest fucking asshole to walk the face of this earth. Thank you so much for letting me into that wet cove of trust you call a vagina. You'll never be able to look at a man in the eyes the same way again. So, the moral of the story is I've got some fresh butthole pics on my phone. If you guys want to check them out at the show. The only problem is they're of mine. <laughs> That's my version of revenge porn. So it cuts me off in traffic. I just pull alongside him and go, look at it! <laughs> look into the eye of vengeance! <laughs> it's like the descent of where? Call it Le Paul de Vide. <laughs> Call of the 